Let's save some money and let's make some homemade pesto. I have some Parmesan Reggiano, some extra virgin olive oil. I have some fresh basil that I picked up from the farmer's market. I would have had more, but I waited just a little bit too long to do it. And some of my leaves were brown. And in my blender, I have about a half a cup of pistachios. Now for pesto, it normally costs for pine nuts, but they're super expensive. So I recommend using like pistachios, especially if it's a nut that you like and you're going to eat it um, or almonds or whatever you choose. But let's get it. I'm always forgetting something. I forgot the garlic. Now, normally I would do whole garlic cloves, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to do about maybe two tablespoons of minced garlic. All right. So I'm going to put in about two tablespoons of garlic just to really get that pungent garlic flavor. Up next, I am going to do a couple spoonfuls of some flaky salt. Maybe just two. Let's go ahead and add in our clean and dried basil. So now I'm going to add in the Parmesan Reggiano. I'm going to do a hefty amount just because I love me some cheese. So maybe about a half a cup. <gasps> Uh-oh. Get that out, y'all, because I'm making a, a pasta and I need that cheese. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get this on the blender. And then while it's blending, we're going to drizzle in the extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to blend it on a medium speed. All right, here is the final look. I transferred it to a measuring cup because I'm about to freeze them. So all I do is just pour them up, and then once they're solid, I add them to a freezer bag, and these will be good, I want to say for at least up to a year, but they don't last that long in my house whatsoever. I was ready to lick my blender. If you're interested in more how-to stuff, go ahead and click on my face and download several of our eBooks and save you some money. Bye, loves.